Six people are still missing at this hour after a bridge collapsed into a river early this morning in Maryland. One of Baltimore's main bridges now sits crumbled in the river below it. The images are simply hard to believe. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. We're going to get you right out to that scene. This is uh, a shot of what's left of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. A cargo ship crashed into it just after 1.30 this morning, sending cars plummeting into the water. Closed Circuit TV caught the moment that it happened. Now watch the left side of your screen. You see the ship approaching the pillar and the splash at the moment of impact and then a nightmare scene. The collapse happened with eight people still on the bridge. Rescue crews found two of them, but tonight six are still missing. They all worked on a construction crew. The search for them growing more desperate by the hour. President Joe Biden vowed the full support of the federal government before he left for a campaign stop in Raleigh. And to the people of Baltimore, I want to say we're with you. We're going to stay with you as long as it takes. And like the governor said, you're Maryland tough, you're Baltimore strong, and we're going to get through this together. And I promise we're not leaving. Now, we know the ship lost power before it hit the bridge, and tonight, that has people concerned about the ships that cross under our Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. WECT's Ava Brengord is live along the river downtown. Ava, you reached out to the DOT and the state ports today. What did they say about something like that possibly happening here? Well, John, Fran, both declined an on-camera interview due to the ongoing investigation out of Baltimore, but they both say something like that is not likely to happen here in Wilmington. That's because big ships like oil tankers stopped going under the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge nearly a year ago. A spokesperson with the North Carolina port says commercial vessels like cargo ships don't travel under bridges to access either of the state ports anymore. That means they don't travel under the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge or the Isabel Holmes Bridge here. A Cape Fear Memorial Bridge tender says the traffic that normally goes under those bridges are private boats and catamarans with masks, tugs, or barges. The NC ports say they are monitoring the situation and are in close communication with their partners at the Port of Baltimore. NCDOT also releasing a statement saying there's much to be learned from this tragic situation and they're monitoring the fallout as well. They will apply lessons learned in North Carolina to to make sure all of the travelers are safe. Now again, an accident like ha that one that happened this morning in Baltimore is not likely to happen here in Wilmington because those big cargo ships don't need to travel underneath any of the bridges to access the state ports. All right, Ava, are shipments into the state port here at Wilmington going to be impacted by this at all? No, John, so the executive director of the state port said Wilmington, the ports in Wilmington are not directly impacted, but they are available to help with any assistance or supplies due to the disruptions that might have been caused with the supply chain due to this tragic accident. All right, thanks, Ava, and we'll have a live report from Baltimore coming up in 18 minutes. In less than a